Power Rangers Hyperforce has to be one of the worst things I have ever seen in my life. It's nothing but a cheap attempt at fan service and I hate literally everything about it. First of all, this is a tabletop RPG. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, a tabletop RPG is basically a dice game with improv. And because of that, every episode is so boring and it's such a chore to sit through them because they are so long and endless and everything just drags on and on. I honestly don't know how people have the patience to sit through this shit. And on top of that, there's literally nothing to watch. I mean, how can you call this Power Rangers if there's nothing for the viewer to see? No costumes, no monsters, no toys, no weapons, no special effects, nothing. Next is the name, Hyperforce. That name is so unbelievably stupid and lazy, you could tell the people who made this were not even trying when they came up with it. The characters are just bland and uninteresting. The morphing sequence is so unbelievably long and corny. Now imagine seeing that five times in a row. There's no story. Wait, you know, actually, yes, there is a story. The story is fan service. And worst of all, this thing is being called a sequel to Time Force. Yes, you heard it right. Time Force. Like I said, this thing is nothing but fan service. So let me break it down. There's Peter Sidarso as the Red Ranger, and the problem with that is that people are saying he's the first Asian Red Ranger. Which is not true at all. We've already had an Asian Red Ranger before. In Power Rangers Mystic Force, the Red Ranger, played by Freya Stirani, is from Lebanon. And for those who don't know geography, Lebanon is in Asia. And since we're talking about Peter, I just have to say he is probably one of the worst Red Rangers I have ever seen in my entire life. He's just playing his same character from Ninja Steel. As for the rest of the fan service, the show is a sequel to Time Force. So it's set in the year 3016 and the Rangers are at the Time Force Academy and their teacher and mentor for the season is Jen, the pink Time Force Ranger. Oh yeah, and while we're on the subject about Time Force, let's talk about the costumes. Now the costumes are okay. They're not great, but they're not terrible either. They're, they're okay. You can tell they were inspired by SPD. However, I feel there's a bit too much black on the torso and it ends up overshadowing the color. Personally, I would have just switched those two around. But the one glaring problem is the helmets. You see, the helmets have this weird animal motif design on them, which honestly does not make sense for a season like this, and it completely contradicts the idea of them coming from the Time Force Academy. Now if you guys remember Power Rangers Time Force, Lightspeed Rescue, SPD, and RPM, each time the costumes were designed by a military organization for function rather than aesthetics. These ones were clearly designed for aesthetics. I heard Peter Sidarso created these costumes and yeah, clearly he was trying to be creative, but he should have paid more attention as to what he was doing when he made those designs. And now back to the fan service. So the story of this thing is basically the Rangers traveling back in time to meet all the fan favorite Power Rangers and to stop the evil alliance from doing the exact same thing and meeting all the fan favorite bad guys. And because they're constantly traveling back in time and meeting all these fan favorite Power Rangers, every episode is a team up with an old ranger and there's a cameo with that old ranger that they're teaming up with. So far there's already been Jen from Time Force, Aisha from Mighty Morphin, Jem from RPM, Doggy Kruger from SPD, Orion from Super Mega Force, and of course, Tommy. I mean, it's not like he's an overrated, overhyped, overused green mascot for the show and there's plenty of other rangers that are way more interesting than him. And let's not forget Yoshi Sudarso, who is basically the new face of Power Rangers now. The Silver Time Force Ranger, whose costume is basically the red Time Force Ranger suit but painted grey. I guess up next is the Gold Time Force Ranger, then the Purple Time Force Ranger, then the Cyan Time Force Ranger, then the Navy Blue Time Force Ranger, then the second Quantum Ranger. And on top of that, the cameos are just like, Oh hey, you guys are Power Rangers? I'm a Power Ranger too. Let's work together and I'll help you beat the bad guys. And because of that, there's no reason to care about the Hyperforce Rangers. There's nothing about the Hyperforce Rangers that sets them apart from all the other teams. So when anybody watches an episode of the show, they're not going to be interested in the Hyperforce Rangers. They're not going to be invested in who these characters are or anything. They're just going to want to see the team up. They're just going to want to see if their favorite Ranger from the past is coming. It feels like Hyperforce is admitting to itself that it can't stand on its own merits, or lack thereof in this case. 
Instead, it just chooses to blind you by making you remember everything that isn't Hyperforce. It's just, hey, look at him, look at her, look at him, look at him. It's exactly the same as Megaforce. Now let me talk about a couple things that I hated the most about Hyperforce. They actually made an episode where they went back in time to meet King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table just so they can have a team up with the Mystic Knights of Tyrion and Gnome. So it's not just fan favorite rangers, they're also including all of the 90s Saban made Power Ranger ripoff TV shows. I would be surprised if next we see VR Troopers, Mask Rider, Beetleborg, Ninja Turtles, Mummies Alive, Voltron, the Powerpuff Girls, the Justice League. Maybe they'll even go to Japan where they can have a Super Sentai team up. And no, no, let me just stop there. Let me just stop there. I'm probably giving them too many ideas. But even worse than that, the absolute worst is that they actually had a Christmas special where they traveled through time to the North Pole and met Santa Claus. How do you do that and expect me to take this show seriously? Having a Christmas special and having Santa Claus in your show is nothing but a gimmick to sell toys to children. Because when children see it, all they think of is, hey, Christmas is coming, I'm getting toys. When adults see it, it's like, oh crap, Christmas is coming, I have to buy toys for my kids. So unless these guys are under some kind of contract from Saban to make this Christmas episode, or the fans actually still believe in Santa Claus, then there's no point for this thing to even exist. And before one of you idiots tries telling me that, oh no, Santa and Christmas has always been part of Power Rangers, nah. No, they haven't. They were only there in Mighty Morphin, Zio, and these Neo Saban seasons. Not in every other season of Power Rangers. Seriously, if you think I'm lying, then go find one Christmas special from any of these seasons of Power Rangers and prove me wrong. And still, they had the nerve to call this a sequel to Power Rangers Time Force. Time Force is one of the, if not the greatest seasons of Power Rangers, and it's still looked at today as what a Power Ranger season should be. And making Hyper Force a sequel to that is an insult to Time Force, and it ruins all the things it's given us. The saddest part of it is that this is fan made, which means the fans actually got together and said we're going to create the Power Rangers that we've always wanted, and instead we get this cheap attempt at fan service, and you all go apeshit about it like it's the greatest thing to ever happen to Power Rangers. I just think it's so sad and pathetic that the fans are so in love with this and are accepting of this crap and they're all saying shit like this is the Power Rangers we've always wanted, it's utilizing the entire Power Rangers universe and doing constant callbacks to the older seasons and the continuity and no, no, it is not doing that, it is nothing but fan service, that is it. It's not something original, it's not something creative, it's, it's nothing, it's just fan service. It's official, Power Rangers is dead and the fans killed it. 